Class S team has won three straight. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have the chance to try and get it last year, but we knew we, we had the chance this year, so we wanted to capitalize, and we were able to do that, so it feels great. Uh, I couldn't be more happy for this senior class. They have never lost a playoff game. Um, so this senior class is kind of exactly how we wanted to end it. Um, I've known a lot of these kids since they were since they were young, and we say, hey, let's just keep doing it. And they said it'd be pretty cool if you know, we win it this year. They had never lost a playoff game, and you know, that we did it. Down with that. Hey, hey, one chance out today, baby. Let's go. One and oh. Here we go. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, baby. Say it to me. The third the boat's on three. One, two, three. Burn the boats. First half, uh, the key was definitely Jack Kilmartin at the faceoff X. Um, you know, we were saying winners outs today, um, and the kid did that. You know, as a sophomore, um, really came on the playoffs. And we have three All-State players on offense, so if you keep getting the ball, eventually they fall. We we rode really hard in that first half. Um, that was something that you know we kind of we wanted to get that and get on our attack about riding and getting the ball back. And you know, two seniors and a junior out there, um, and that was definitely a difference in the first half. We we just had a lot of possessions. Pressing out uh, for East, so we knew kind of we'd have to beat our man one on one. I think a lot of kids were able to do that. Um, and when we, if we didn't get a shot right off the dodge, uh, they slid, and we were able to get the guy backside. That happened a bunch of times too. Um, so we were able to create a lot of good offense for a lot of good goals. I 
The message I had for those guys at halftime was to just keep doing what we're doing, um, to settle in and um, you know play to our strengths. And we cleaned up some of the things that um, you know maybe the nerves were having an effect on in the first half. Yeah, we knew East was going to fight back. Uh, I mean, they're you know, they're a good team, so we said, listen, a third quarter is going to be their best punch. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we were ready for it. And you know, they came out. I think they won the third quarter. Um, you know, they did a really good job. Number four could shoot. You know, we tried to take away number one, who's kind of like their point guard, um, and they, they didn't stop fighting. He's the player of the game in my eyes. Um, without him, uh, without him, we're not in this game at all. He stood on his head. Uh, he stayed big. He made saves uh, when we needed saves, and he, I thought he cleared the ball really well today as well. Sometimes people say, you know, if you have two goalies, you don't have one, kind of like quarterbacks. But you have two seniors. Um, they, you know, neither of them got beat out for the position, so they kept fighting. And I think it was kind of good for us. You know, they had to be on their toes all the time because the other guy, you know, wants more minutes too. And you know, we were riding two goalies, and they, they took us all the way home. It got a little tight there in the second half, um, but they, they did it. You know, they came with Max some big saves in the second half. Josh kept us, you know, enough to be out in front there. And I, I can't be more happy for the senior group. It's going to be. Uh, a sad bus ride back here knowing that this is the last time they're going to get off the bus. Once you get a taste, you want to come back. Uh, we've been knocking on the door. Uh, this is my 10th year uh, with the program, and uh, we've made eight quarterfinals and, and six uh, semifinals uh, and never gotten broken through into this game. So, um, you know, to break through into the game uh, and be here today was a blessing, but I told the guys all week and coming into this game that, um, you know, we've worked too hard to get here um, to just stay here. Um, and I, I really wanted them to focus on winning the game and not be happy uh, with, with climbing the next step but to, to come out and really take it and um, you know we, we fell a little bit short today but I'm really really proud of their effort and um, they've been a resilient team all year long and I think they showed that out here again today we just uh, needed a few more minutes on the clock I think we would have had it. There was a few heartbreakers, a few of them we, that we only lost by a couple that, you know, I think if we went back, you know, we wish we could have pulled those out. But I think we learned a lot from those losses. Um, and it honestly, it got us ready for, for these games. So can't change anything and we don't really want to. We're on top. It was actually, you know, 2020 might have been our, our best team of this of these four years. So, you know, it was unfortunate for us we didn't get a chance for, you know, that class to, you know, to defend their title. Um, so, you know, we talked about it yesterday. You know, it's not just for 2021, um, it's for the 2020 class as well. Yeah. 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 Yeah.